Hi guys, so um, this is the video which continue the techniques of differentiation which is uh, I still uh, using the power rule to differentiate the following function first of all I have my first example y equals to 7 minus 6 x power of 5 before I start I would like to give you a briefer explain on the uh, power rule if we have a function y in the form of a y equals to f x and the power of gx fx uh, sorry fx power of n all right so how do i um differentiate it to find the dy dx i will just uh, close this up first uh, i focus on the power how do i uh, differentiate the power i will move the n to the front and i put a bracket for the inner function the power of n minus one whatever inside this bracket inside the bracket i will just copy it down without changing anything and then multiply by this is the outer layer outer function of the function i will consider it as a something power of n so we differentiate the outer function we got the n something power of n minus one and multiply by now we need to differentiate the inner function the inner function is fx so after i differentiate the fx i got my f prime x this is a formula for the power rule for the uh, function given as a form in the form of uh, y equals to f x power of n so we look at the question a a we have a y equals to 7 minus 6 x power of 5 as if that the 7 minus 6 x will be our f x and the power of 5 will be the n so how do i differentiate it first of all just uh, take this as uh, the power of 5 something power of 5 as your outer function and the inner function will be the 7 minus 6x. First of all, I will try to differentiate the 5 first, uh, the power of 5. So how do you differentiate x power of 5 or u power of 5? We are going to bring the 5 to the front and then put a bracket, leave it for the inner function. Okay, and then the power 5 minus 1, you got 4. Whatever inside this uh, bracket, we just copy it down. And then multiply by, follow the formula. Differentiate the inner function. Differentiate 7 minus 6x, you get negative 6. Then we simplify. We get negative 30. 7 minus 6x, power of 4. Alright? So look at the B. We have a y equals to 5x squared plus 4x minus 7, power of 4. We apply the same formula. That is power rule, same rules. Bring the 4 to the front and I put a bracket. Later on, we're going to insert this inside. And then the power minus 1, you got 3. Multiply by, alright, we just fill, fill this up. That is a 5x squared plus 4x minus 7. Just copy it down. Exactly, copy the whole thing inside here. Then after that, multiply by the f prime x. f prime x is not uh, the inner function. Differentiate the inner function. I will have my 10x plus 4. Alright. Then uh, simplify it. You got a 4, 10x plus 4, multiply by 5x squared plus 4x minus 7, power of 3. Okay, so this is the power rule. And now we proceed to the next example. There is an example C, y equals to x plus 1 over x power of 4. Okay. So before we start, I will rewrite this question, maybe, uh, in this form. The 1 over x, I change it into the x power of negative 1, so that it's easier for me to differentiate later. dy dx, again, this is your fx, this is your n. So how do you differentiate this? Using the power rule, bring the 4 to the front, provide a bracket for it. Later on, you will insert this inner function inside. And then the power of 4 minus 1, you got 3. So inside you have a x plus 1 over x. Okay, so now you are going to differentiate the inner function. I will refer to this form. Okay, differentiate x, you got 1. Differentiate negative uh, x power of negative 1, you got uh, negative 1. x power of negative 2. Alright, so simplify it for this one can be written as 1 minus 1 over x squared. Multiply by x plus 1 over x power of 3. Okay, so question D, this is my answer. For the example D, 
I have my uh, square root of a 2x plus 1. y equals to square root of 2x plus 1. Rewrite this question in this form. 2x plus 1, power of 1 over 2. Again, get your dy dx by uh, applying the power rule. So applying the power rule, you just uh, take the 1 over 2 to the front. And then the power minus 1, you get negative 1 over 2. In the function 2x plus 1, you just copy it down. And uh, don't forget, multiply by. Differentiate your inner function, you will get 2. So the 2 and the 1 over 2 can be cancelled off each other. So you have your 1 over square root of 2x plus 1. Okay, so now we proceed to the next example, E. E given as a cube root of x squared plus 5. Y equals to cube root of x squared plus 5. Again, rewrite this question, this function in this form first. Power of uh, three, uh, 1 over 3. So. Okay. X squared plus 5, power of 1 over 3. Because cube root is means that uh, power of 1 over 3. Find the dy dx, applying the power rule. 1 over 3, move to the front. And then the power minus 1. Minus 1 means uh, minus 3 over 3. You get negative 2 over 3. Multiply by, differentiate the inner function. That is your 2x. Okay. So simplify it. You got a 2x on top, and the down there, you got 3. Here, because of the power is negative, I know it, uh, we should put it down there. So this will be square root of, uh, sorry, cube root of, cube root of x squared plus 5. How do I know it's cube root? Because it's a power of uh, something over 3. And then uh, up here, you got the 2, right? So it means that this is a power 2. Okay. So the number over here means that uh, is a root, cube root. And uh, on top, you have a 2, means that it's a square. So this is my final answer. This is your E, F, the last one. You have a Y equals to 2 over 3. Two over three square root of two x minus one. Two x plus one. Sorry, two x plus one. Y equals to two over three square root of two x plus one. So I will rewrite this uh, in the form of a power first. Two over three. It's a uh, coefficient. So this is a 2x plus 1. And because uh, originally uh, the square root of 2x plus 1 is at the denominator. So you do, don't forget the, the power has the negative here. And you have a negative 1 over 2 because uh, this is a square root, square root. So now we can start to find the dy dx by applying the power rule. Bring the one over uh, 2 over 3, keep it here. Multiply by negative 1 over 2 because you bring the negative 1 over 2 to the front and after that the power minus 1 you got negative 3 over 2 so 2x plus 1 just copy it down in the bracket and uh, don't forget you need to differentiate the inner function that is 2 so what can we do now is simplify so 2 over here and here can be cancelled off left your negative 2 over 3 okay so since this uh, having the power of negative, you know that it will be at the down there, 2x plus 1. Okay, so uh, this is uh, something over 2. The power is over 2, so this is a square root. And uh, this one is a power of 3, meaning, meaning that this one needs to be power 3. Okay, so these are the examples, uh, a to f, using the power rule. So now we move to the... Next example, sum and difference rule. Sum and difference rule means that if you have a function y equals to u plus v, okay, ux plus v, vx maybe. So to differentiate plus minus, okay, either will be sum or difference. dy dx, you just uh, uh, differentiate term by term, okay. Differentiate u, that get your u prime, and differentiate the v, get your v prime, just like that, okay. So we look at the example A. 
given the y equals to 5x squared plus 3x. dy dx, you, now you have two terms over here. To differentiate these two terms, you just differentiate term by term. Alright, differentiate 5x squared, okay, we will get 10x. And differentiate 3x, we will have 3. So you got 10x plus 3. Okay, so the b will be y equals to x plus 1 over x. So 1 over x, I rewrite it in the form of uh, x power of negative 1. To get the dy dx derivative, you just uh, differentiate term by term, piece by piece. Differentiate x, you get 1. Differentiate the x power of negative uh, 1, you get negative 1. And then x power negative 1 minus 1, you get negative 2. Simplify it, you get 1 minus 1 over x squared. Alright, so this is a question B. And the C, you have a y equals to 4x squared minus 2 over x minus 3 over x cubed. So now I rewrite the question in this form. 4x squared is just uh, good for me to differentiate. But uh, some, this is a reciprocal function. I will change it into the, this form. 2x power of negative 1. And this one I change it to the negative 3 power of uh, negative 3 x power of negative 3. So now I start to find the derivative. Differentiate 4x squared, I got my 8x. Differentiate the negative 2, x power of negative 1, I got my positive 2. x power of negative 2, because negative 1, you bring to the front. Multiply by negative 2, you got the positive 2. And the power of negative 1 minus 1, you got negative 2. Now differentiate the negative 3, x power of negative 3. Bring the negative 3, multiply by negative 3 at the front, you got positive 9. And then the power minus 1, you got negative 4. Rearrange it. 8x plus 2 over x squared plus 9 over x power of 4. Okay, so this is my answer for the C and the D. Question D, you have uh, y equals to 3x, 1 over 3, plus 4x power of 1 over 2. Okay, so get your dy dx. Okay, apply the power rule and for, for the uh, first piece and second piece. Okay, so 1 over 3, bring over, uh, multiply by 3, you get 3, multiply by 1 over 3, you get 1. Multiply by x, the power of 1 over 3 minus 1, you get a 1 over 3 minus 3 over 3. Now you get a negative 2 over 3 plus 4. Bring the 1 over 2 over. Then you get a x power of 1 over 2 minus 1, you get negative 1 over 2. Rearrange it, you get a 1 over x power of 2 cube root. Alright, cube root of uh, x square. And the 4 and the 2 can be cancelled off. You get a positive 1 or uh, 2, positive 2 over square root of x. Alright, because x power of 1 over 2, that is square root. And the negative of, uh, here means that you need to bring this uh, to as, a, as your denominator. So this is my answer. Alright, so this is uh, basically is a sum and a difference rule.